Greetings, beacons of light, and welcome to this Lightworker Lightwords in this time portal of April 2024. We angels of Atlantis have data for you that will be highly significant. This data comes to you from our hearts through our sonic love and therefore is a reflection of our light-filled care positioned especially for you. This data is formulated as a transcendent force we wish for you to embody and it arrives as a series of light pulsations in the form of sacred teachings rather than in the form of the maxims we've asked you to remember in past broadcasts. This collated data we have observed from our higher dimensional promontory through our 10th and 11th dimensional capacities. But we are composed of plasma. We are a collective that arrives to you as thoughts from the Divine Mother, Father, God principle. We are like beings in service to the love light circuitry of the cosmos and we want you to see the force of God as a superposition for all values within the cosmos. In these moments that pulse, we offer you a view of the newer energies which are especially important for you, Homo sapiens, right now. They are arriving during and post the cosmic reset you have just experienced, formulated by the lunar and solar eclipses in March and April whose energies will be continuously felt during the period up to the full moon in Scorpio on April the 23rd and 24th. You will feel all of the constituent parts which move to you in co-creation with the other planets beside your own near to your earthly vicinity. The shift of consciousness has been monumental and we urge you to ritualize your love, your care, your meditation in coordination with the capacity of this shift. For your hearts are much larger and your minds are expanding. And when we speak of mind, we speak of the holistic nature of you, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. For you see, you are on the brink of achieving something vast. This is so gargantuan that the entire sentience of other planetary civilizations who have already evolved into higher dimensionality are poised in anticipation to celebrate with you through the love of wonder for what is in store for you. And so we ask you to get ready and this data will help you hugely. You will remember, we have suggested before, this is an acute time for you light workers as you review the many changes that are taking place within your astrology and planetary field of consciousness. For the planets are suspended in vibrational harmony with planet terra firma and they are radiating new energies that will impinge specifically on your psyche. Please see the significance of Pluto and Saturn, the importance of Jupiter and Uranus, and the fascinating movement within Chiron and Mercury's trajectory. There are even more shifts planned than between these six planets, yet these are the most paramount at this juncture in the space-time continuum as they impinge on your consciousness, bringing about fundamental change within the entire collective of human souls. Yet please also remember the teaching we have provided you concerning the nature of timelines and the gateway into no time that you are currently processing, which you can hear in this month's broadcast of Illumination. As you move deeper and indeed higher in your ascension process through your pranic cord and energy vehicle light manifestations, you will aspire further into the fifth and sixth dimensions. You will feel that your divine matrix imprint stored within your DNA is now being considerably activated. Therefore, you are being propelled into conceiving of yourself as a multidimensional being. This is so as you awaken your solar crystalline body 
whilst your old carbon body is clearly diminishing and will reach an obsolete state. Thus, you will have effortless access to even higher dimensions derived from the memories of your lives from 12,000 years ago and more. In this, we refer to your lives in Atlantis and Mu. We're going to give you now the constituent parts of your consciousness that will expand and that you will certainly feel rippling through the entire sensorium of your being. Number one, intuition and improved health. Your solar crystalline light body is capable of being a wonder-filled resource in its containment of greater light, which will undoubtedly enhance your intuition and your psychic abilities. Whichever sense has been the predominant sensor for you in this earth life thus far, you will feel a greater expansion between each of your sensory motors into a sixth sense capacity. This will help you to interpret through light, color and sound as you feel the new frequencies that are absolutely love-oriented, as you feel these vibrations from the higher dimensions literally flood through your bodies, altering the content of your cells and expanding your DNA, producing greater holistic vitality and health. You may even feel at this time that the sleep state is either deepened, that is required by Homo sapiens, or that you're being suspended in a no sleep state. This means that your body is suffused with light, providing you with nourishment from the cosmos. Secondly, you will feel greater creativity. You will experience an increase in your light body frequencies which will suffuse all of your cells and this will feel as though you have greater physical energy enabling you to achieve new heights of physicality never before attained. You will feel the longevity of certain people's lives on this planet. This is an illustration of what we speak of. Even though the advancement of your solar crystalline body is primarily within your light body, you will notice the denser physical aspect of you is also changing exponentially. Therefore, you will feel an enhanced appreciation for the purpose, the destiny and the meaning of your incarnation. Questions about your purpose, destiny, and meaning will be in the forefront of your consciousness. So get ready and be specific. You will see how all of this fits into the life of your planet. Because in your kindred spirit communions, you will see other people expressing the same processes that you yourself will be feeling. And we want you to open yourself to the infinite possibilities of living these pathways of existence because you will feel the ability to cross universal timelines. Thirdly, you will have access to your divine imprint. You'll feel greater access to the blueprint of your soul which contains all the data you need to fully comprehend your karmic purpose, your spirit imprint and your soul's destiny. This means that before you came into incarnation, you decided what your life themes would be in consultation with your spirit guides and your angels. You planned what your destiny would be, what locations you would reside in and what family members you would live with and what challenges you would experience in order to abide and evolve as a being of infinite love. Within the force of planet Earth, these elements were shaped to strengthen your resolve as a being of celestial love and light, as a being who is on planet Earth to bring celestial love and heartfelt knowledge to all people that appear on the path of your existence. These forces inevitably wish to bring you to the greatest truth that is you, to the greatest and most authentic self that is you. 
This is the revelation of your true nature. This is the communication of your unmasked honesty, integrity and sincerity. So fourthly, what is your solar crystalline light vehicle? This light body vehicle is an entirely new form for your body. It's comprised of the higher vibrations of light, color, and sound. Therefore, its prime consideration is to harbor all excelling light frequencies rather than living inside the dense form of your carbon body and all of its limitations. To assist these new light frequencies, you are being sent information from the light universities of Sirius and Orion. And these energies are sent to you to help you recalibrate the way you think and feel about all of the information we're sharing and much more. In other words, these light potentials will help you break through and illuminate redundant thought formulation from the past, particularly those that have created mental resistance concerning fear, regret, worry, self-pity, hatred, self-sabotage, or self-loathing. Be aware of the flashes of your intuition. You will receive these palpably. Be aware of all your dreams. Many people are speaking of the fact that their dream state is now increased with prophetic dreams full of metaphors to lead you all forward on a personal and collective level. You see, when you are in the alpha state, that is that state between sleeping and waking, when you are in deep repose, you will receive these insightful inspirations more fully. Fifthly, align your pranic cord to formulate an etheric cord. It is quintessential that you work to function within your crystalline light body by priming your physical vessel through daily meditation, both receiving light frequencies through your pranic cord, your meridians and your chakras, and sending the vibration of love light from your heart into the world. What you receive is then offered. This is the essential gener generosity of the love light circuitry. It is intended for these energies to bring healing and interconnectivity. Therefore, to assist these forces, make sure you spend time not just meditating, but be within Mother Nature, as you will feel she fosters the purity of your light field by soaking you in prana, enriched, pure energies. Six, living through your supernature means all sentience is one. Spirituality is vitalized and maintained by honoring life as sacred, believing in the interconnectivity of all life, and by living through the honoring of the all oneness within creation. This fundamentally brings about a generosity of spirit through the pulse of kindness. Please engage in rituals to sustain the nature of your spirit and to dispel the old illusion that you can ever be alone. For certainly waking to the power of your spiritual existence, whether this be through inspiration or desperation, for example, through the long dark night of the soul, you will wake to the power of the fact that you are a celestial being vibrating the highest degrees of love and light given to you by the universe. This means that you are never alone when you subscribe to the wonder of the interconnectivity of sentience. If you need to heal trauma, suffering, or a closed heart, please do so now, so that all emotional records of pain, abuse, shame, anger, and fear are literally erased from the cellular nature of your human embodiment. 
And please, cease living in the polarity organ of your head. Rather, still, live in your heart, whose fiber optics will connect you with all the purity that exists within universal consciousness. And lastly, number seven, fifth dimensionality means that cause and effect become coalesced into one. You see, there are many degrees to describe what it is to live fifth dimensionality. Yet the major tenet is that you shed the ego as you aspire to non-duality. Therefore, the space-time continuum positively distorts, bringing you into the time ripple and rapport with the eternal and the timeless. In effect, now is all that exists. And so cause and effect become coalesced into the one. Therefore, no action is perpetrated that creates harm or hurt to any other sentient being. As any cruel behavior that occurs will mean that the act of hatred or violence will immediately be experienced as karma, transferred from the one who was once perceived as the victim. Finally, Within the fifth and sixth dimension, love is all there is. And so the one who is you and the one who is they is not separate. Therefore, all beings are connected through the all that is. And a new morality is born from the essence of the one, which is not based on self-preservation, but is stimulated purely by love. And so therefore, concerns the heartfelt welfare of the whole. We leave you at this time within this portal with hearts full of love and with bodies full of the divine logos. For these words bring to you a spell. They bring powerful energies that will truly assist the pulsations of light we referred to at the beginning of our broadcast that assist your ascension, and so therefore lean more complicitly into our loving teachings. As always, we wish you Namaste, Namaste, Namaste. I just wanted to remind you that on Sunday, April the 21st, will be Enchantment, this wonderful 90-minute workshop, which is primarily created to revere the full moon to honor all of the astrological activity that is taking place. And on this occasion of enchantment, hundreds of people come together to create a communion of light or a network of grace by chanting magic into our lives. Why don't you come along at either 12 o'clock Pacific Coastline, 3 o'clock Eastern Seaboard, or 8 o'clock in the UK. You'll find all the information on the website. Due to an overwhelming demand, the April special offer soul reading completely booked out. And so I'm sorry if you didn't find a position there, but the good thing is through popular demand that I found time in my June diary for a June special offer soul reading. Now many people have already booked, so don't hesitate. Go immediately to the events page and there you will find all of the information. I look forward to seeing you.